I'm Gigi from Gigi Games. Today we're going to create a job from a house that you build so that you can put it on Mod.io. I decided to use this house from a previous video. I just added a basement here and I thought we could move the master bedroom down here. And I've already designed the room. I feel it's easier to have the room prepared so you know which wall colors you're going to pick where you're going to build your walls, wood furniture, all of that. Before you go any further, you might want to do a save as on the house so that you have another version of this house in case you mess up, which is what I've done. Um, and now I'm going to purchase the little boxes for the unpacking quest. Um, I usually place the boxes around the area that I think the furniture should go. That doesn't mean that the furniture will end up that way, but that's what I do. So now we want to right click and choose the box and then click on the item you want to move into the box and then click E to add the item. I'm going to add all the items to the boxes now. A quick note when adding rugs that you've resized, when I test it in my play test, the rugs come out the same size as I resize them to. Now, I've never tested this through the download on Mod.io, but I think that they would stay the same. If you add an item that you decide you don't want to pack, just click R when hovered over the box and it'll move the item out. With everything packed up, we're going to set all of these items to be purchased with the item quest. On the bottom left hand corner, you can click R to switch through and we're going to select to buy. And as you can see, it gets highlighted in green. So we're just going to click all the items that we want to have purchased. I am not going to have them buy that little fireplace there or the stove thing. Um, I'm going to leave it so that the whoever's playing it gets an idea of where the sitting area should be. Uh, not that it has to stay there, it's just um, that's what I wanted to do. <laughs> okay, with everything set to sell, we're going to go ahead and save and start a play test. I do a lot of play tests and I also save a lot. I'm just going to kind of walk through make sure I got everything to sell here, which I did not. Uh, so I'm going to have to go back and add that lamp, but it looks like everything else that I want is up for sale. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and set the surfaces with the surface plus button. Uh, the Q on the bottom when you click Q, it copies the color of the surface and then you just highlight the whole surface that you want that color to be. Now it's kind of tricky because nothing changes here, um, but I will show you after we change the paint to what we want when they first come in, uh, you'll be able to see when you go to your play test <laughs> that you need to change those surfaces. Now I'm going to go ahead and paint the wall to what I want it to look like when uh, the user first comes in. And I want it to look like an unfinished kind of uh, basement area where maybe some contractors came in and started, but then they stopped and were asking uh, the user to finish it. Before I test this thing, I need to turn it to a job so that the quests show up when you play test and uh, you can name it whatever you want and down below here there's an area to set how much money the user can spend. Um, you should set that to as high as possible especially when you're play testing. Before I move on I need to test all of the surfaces to make sure they're working so I'm going to do that real quickly. Uh, you can tell that they're working uh, because it'll start to show how many boxes you've done or squares and how many squares that you have left to do. I always test all of the surfaces before actually putting 
uh, the house on mod IO but you can tell it's working right now so I'm going to move on so we're going to set it up so that the user can build walls but before they can before we can do that we have to delete the walls that we want them to build so I'm just going to delete this wall here and then we're going to go ahead and go to our wall quest and click future and now we're going to set where we want the wall to be built. Now we're going to set the texture that we want uh, this wall to have and so we go to surface class and just like we did before we just cover the wall with the what it is that we want the user to paint or wallpaper or whatever. Don't forget to save the game and then we'll go ahead and go to playtest to make sure that those walls work. As you can see it is asking us to build the walls so it looks like it works. We did good. I'm going to add a couple items here that can be sold. Um, I'm going to add a, an old toilet and I'm going to add an old sink and then I'm also going to add a bookcase that I can uh, I guess it's damage you just select your architect tool and damage item in the options and then you have all these options to uh, damage the item make it look really ugly old used and then you set it to sell with the other one so the user has um, several items to sell. Don't forget to pick a color <laughs> for the damage or else you end up with nothing damaged. <laughs> but here you can uh, make sure to select color and you get all these different choices to make it look really terrible. So now we're going to go to item quests and this time we're going to click R until we get to, to sell and then I'm going to click on all the items I want to sell and they will be highlighted in this yellow orangey color. We're going to add some dirt now. Uh, you just go to the stains and dirt and you have uh, lots of choices. If you click on Q you can change the different dirt. There's just so much you can do here. You have to be really careful with dirt though. Um, it'll get trapped in, or hidden if you put it on, like for instance, if you were to put it on these baseboards, it would get hidden under the baseboards. So you have to be very, like this, you have to be very careful where you put it. So I just don't put it on baseboards and I test my dirt thoroughly <laughs> to make sure that I can get every item or every piece of dirt in the play test. If you want to create vacuumable items, you can just uh, click vacuum with dirt like that and then you have a couple different options and you just set it down. We'll play some trash with trash management. There's a lot of different things, of different options to choose from. Uh, be careful where you're throwing it. Make sure it's not too close to the edge or to the wall. Sometimes it might get trapped in the wall. I've had issues with trash as well. Uh, you can use gravity on or off. You can change the amount of trash you want to throw. Uh, there's boxes, pizza boxes, soda cans, there's all kinds of things. You can kind of go wild with it. We're going to go ahead and save and then play test. Make sure we can get all that dirt up. Um, I know I have issues here because uh, the dirt is going to get trapped behind these baseboards. So I'm going to need to go back and fix that. To do that, we're going to go to dirt management. Um, when you click Q, there are several options. The, you can change the distance, you can change which type of dirt you want to clean up. Uh, there's uh, several options. There's uh, even an option to destroy everything that's visible to you, which we didn't really want to do, so I'm going to go and bring that dirt back. Um, we're going to go ahead and uh, switch it to just dirt. And then you click on it and the dirt disappears. 
Then we're going to switch it to the uh, trash and get rid of that. And the vacuum -o little stuff. It's pretty easy. Now I'm going to build some walls. I want uh, the person playing to be able to destroy some walls, so I'm just going to build a couple pillars around here and then set them to be destroyed. Setting the walls to be destroyed is real easy. Just go to wall quests um, and basically leave <laughs> the settings already there for you. You just highlight the sections that you want to be destroyed and then when you go to your playtest, they are ready to be destroyed. We're going to save and we're going to go to our playtest and as you can see the walls are here and they are destroyable. When you're done creating your job and you've done the playtest several times, you'll want to take some photos. So go to your tools, uh, click take photos, and then click on G to go into God mode if you would like. Uh, to set the camera down, you'll want to click control, left click on the mouse, and then find uh, the position you want to take a picture in, and then left click your mouse to set the camera. Then you have to click R to move on to the next camera. So basically you set all the cameras first in the right position, and then after you set all your cameras, you click Q, and then it takes all of the pictures. After you've taken your pictures, you can go look and see them all displayed in your documents. When you're ready to export, you want to go to your property settings. Make sure your job budget is set. I've seen houses where the job budget wasn't set high enough and people were unable to complete because they could not purchase the items. Your file will export as a zip and you can find it located here. Once you extract the file, you'll have a folder for houses and a folder for photos. You'll need those when importing your house on Mod.io. On the Mod.io website, you click Add Community Content on the top right. On the first tab, you'll want to add basic information about your build, the name, a little summary, a description down below, and then uh, you can upload over on the right where it says logo. You will upload your thumbnail using the photos folder that we exported earlier. On the second tab, you can add the rest of the pictures, uh, YouTube, location to video, channel, whatever, a sketch, fab models, not sure what that is. The third tab is where you'll add the zip that you created. Click I agree and then Upload and Next. The last tab is for dependencies. I don't even know what that is. I just go Save and Next. <laughs> I have no idea. Um, I do want to note that I always start off by keeping my community content hidden. You can do that on this tab where it says Visibility, which is the first tab. Um, I make sure that everything is correct. Uh, sometimes I download it and play it again just to make sure it's correct before I uh, make it public to the community. The first house I put on here had issues with hidden dirt and the job couldn't be completed and there were some comments and I felt terrible so I always make sure that it works 100% before I put it out now. That completes our tutorial today. I hope it was helpful. I hope it wasn't too confusing. Um, and everyone have a great day.